Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Byrne. I'm a psychiatrist at Cognitive Psychiatry of Chapel Hill, and today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about a medication for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And the reason I wanted to talk about this medication is it is a non-stimulant. Probably you've heard of things like Ritalin or Adderall. These are uh, stimulant medications. These are what get a lot of media press. Um, you hear a lot of things about them, good and bad. But a lot of people don't know that there are other non-stimulant treatment options for ADHD. So today I want to talk to you about a medication. The brand name is Stratera, and the generic name is Atomoxetine, although there is no generic yet because Stratera is still um, a patented medication. So right now you would be getting Stratera. So what is this medication? Um, Stratera works on norepinephrine, which is a chemical in the brain. Um, stimulants also work with norepinephrine, but they have a dopamine component, so it's a little bit of a different mechanism. Stratera is different in that you take it every day, and like antidepressants, it kind of takes a while for it to build up in your system. So the way I normally recommend that people start this medication is with a lower dose and then they kind of build up over about a month time. And they actually have some titration packs which make this easy. So this is an example of a titration pack um, for children that starts at 10 milligram dose and goes up to 40 milligram dose. And this is an example of a titration pack for adults that starts at 25 milligrams and goes up to 80 milligrams. Um, the dose range on the medication, the lowest pill, it, well, capsule, the lowest capsule is 10 milligrams and the highest is 100. I would say most adults are typically on something between 40 and 80. And for children, it really varies quite a bit. So this medication, like I said, is a non-stimulant um, treatment for ADHD. Why is that a good thing? Well, stimulants can have a lot of problems. They can be habit forming, meaning it's hard to stop taking them. They can have um, increased anxiety or jitteriness. They can make it hard to sleep at night. They can give you trouble with your appetite and cause weight loss. And this is sometimes an issue more in kids than in adults. Um, also, if you've had a history of tics, stimulants can sometimes make that worse. Um, so, you know, there's kind of a lot of pros and cons about stimulants, but Stratera tends not to have these kind of problems, so it doesn't have the problems with loss of appetite or insomnia, it doesn't cause tics, it doesn't tend to cause anxiety. In fact, one of the things I really like about Stratera is that it helps treat anxiety. So it is FDA approved for treatment of ADHD in adults and children, but I also use it for people who have ADHD plus anxiety. And those two conditions often go together. It's pretty common that you see them together. So for my patients who are really struggling with both anxiety and ADHD, this medication can be a really great choice. Um, what are some of the downsides of Stratera? Every medicine can have downsides. The most common side effect is upset stomach. So GI problems, you know, like nausea, heartburn, um, upset stomach, even abdominal pain. Obviously, if you have any of these symptoms, you let your doctor know right away, and some people just can't take it because of those side effects. Um, more uncommonly, I've seen side effects with problems uh, urinating. Um, in men, in particular, I've seen that a couple of times. Um, there is a warning on the medication for younger children about suicidal ideation, saying that if there's any suicidal ideation, call your doctor right away. This warning is not there for adults, but it is there for children. Um, so again, you know, one of the downsides is you take it every day. It's not as needed. It's not like you can just take it and get the benefit just from taking it one time. Um, but I think it can be a great treatment option. It's like I said, especially if somebody has ADHD and anxiety or they've taken stimulants and they have a lot of side effects or if they've had a history of substance abuse problems. So for me, if I have someone who's had a history of some substance abuse problems, and they have ADHD, I might actually start with Stratera rather than a stimulant. Um, so hopefully this medication, the generic, will be available. I'm not sure exactly when, maybe in a couple of years. But in the meantime, there are programs. If you can't afford the medication, sometimes doctors can give you samples or there is um, a patient assistance program if you can't afford it.
So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any more questions, please just contact us at the information below. Thank you.